wow, it's been an amazing year for anime so far. We even have animes like Parasite, Angie Crossing, and Tokyo Ghoul Season 2, uh, among all the other animes that have come out. But what's today's anime about? Absolute Duo. Let's get started. Compared to the other animes out there in its genre, Absolute Duo reminds me a lot of Bleach and kind of a Moe slice of life genre feel thing going on packed into an Ichi. Really, the people in it look dangerously close to becoming Lilicon if it was not for the cow size boobs and the extremely sexy curves. But seriously guys, on a bigger note, boobs. Meet the family. We meet Toru Kokono. A boy who has a little bit of a troubled past who has come to this school to forget all that and get laid. No, I'm kidding. Maybe. This anime has a weird premise. Toto has come to the school from a troubled past which I can only assume was from the death of his family as the anime describes as much as it can. I mean, dude, I sensed that the show was trying to give us a little bit of something of what's going on in his past, but... I really don't get much of what they're trying to describe because they play the same scene over and over at the same amount of length and I really can't tell what happened in his past and I'm already about like nine episodes in so I don't know what they're trying to do with that one but it does seem like it has a lot of potential as far as the anime itself. To give you an example it reminds me a lot of the story behind Sasuke and Naruto. Basically he shows his brother kind of killing everybody and then he's there staring at his brother and his brother saying he isn't strong enough and throughout the series we see flashbacks and a little bit more and more of what happened during that moment and then we see it to a point we throw up but it's kind of one of those animes that show you something of potential to keep you sucked in through the rest of it and it does a good job of kind of keeping you interested as far as that and the amount of boobs involved. Yes guys, boobs again. As well as we have Julie Sigana. She's basically a badass chick with two swords and just has a mysterious past, just as mysterious as Toru's. But hers kind of comes out a little bit more and we see that it's involving her father and she kind of almost overshines Toru through the whole series, even though he's the main kind of guy that everybody's after. Now, to get started with, the premise of the whole anime is basically about Blaze, a power that is inside the human soul, and it's kind of influenced by the wielder's emotion. If the wielder doesn't harbor any type of harmful feelings towards the person they're fighting, it's kind of a dojo training damage toward the other person. But if they start hating the person, or they want to try to kill them in their mind, then they actually do get damaged from these weapons, which I found was a pretty cool idea of the whole anime. Um, it kind of puts in a mix on, you know, they can still kind of hurt each other, but they can't. I was kind of wondering to myself halfway in, how will they ever die, and how will they ever kill anything, and who is the real enemy? Yet, I'm still kind of figuring out who the real enemy is, and why there's so many people gathered to become the absolute duo for the principal of the school. Now, speaking of Blaze, Toru, our main character of the series, has a Blaze that's kind of unique on its own. He has a shield that's on his left arm that can turn off and on whenever he wants, and then basically it's the ultimate shield. It can block any type of attack from any other Blaze. So I'm not aware if there's any manga out there that basically is about Absolute Duo and if it has a stronger story um, kind of going on there, but through the series, even up till now, the most current one, um, the current episode on just the live episodes in general, I haven't seen much of the shield being anything else but being on his arm. Um, they really kind of dupe down his powers so he doesn't look like he's too overpowered with his shield. 
Uh, I want to see them do something cooler there, like something like the Full Metal Alchemist when Greed had basically the ultimate shield around his body, but they kind of put their own kind of spin on it with its own look, as well as incorporate one of the other powers that I saw that I liked about him. Now this power is the power that he has in his right arm that makes me not dislike this character yet, because he has the power to basically make a Rasengan out of his right fist and fuck anybody who ends up deciding, oh, I'm gonna fight Toru today. So yeah, that one's pretty cool, but they do dupe it down because later on in the series they show you that it kind of damages his soul while he uses it, so yeah, so watch out for that. So the story is based on the premise that this principal, a little con looking girl, I mean, um, a mo girl, is basically the principal of the whole school. And she's trying to find the absolute duo by bringing it out of many students that come to her school. When Toru comes to the beginning of the story, we see him meet a really cute girl and they go into the school together. But later on, after chatting, and the principal starts talking and saying that there can't be much people who can come to the school, she makes it a full battle royale. This catches everybody off guard, as well as the silver-haired girl being our Julia, one of our main characters, and they begin to fight. Now Toru is pinned against this girl who he just met, and now he has to fight her to try to stay in the school. Now whenever he's fighting, he's being a real gentleman about it and not hitting her, but she's slashing at him as much as she can in the school in general. So whenever Toru hears about what she's talking about, he remembers his past, as I described before, and those little flashbacks, and then he ends up fighting her. And that's when we get to see his giant Rasengan fist thing in the bobber. Um, uh, sorry about that. Anyways. Now, speaking of the animation, you may have got a glimpse of kind of the really, really, really cool animation in the beginning of the scene with the theme. Not so much what you get through the fight scenes in the story. It seems like they made like the best animations for the fight in the beginning theme, but whenever you get inside the anime, you kind of see them barely play with the fights. You see some cool moves, but you see a lot of slow motion and a lot less frames than what they use in the beginning of the theme, which makes me disappointed because that's the thing that got me basically still watching it from right now to see if they have some kind of really cool scene. Now all in all, the anime has pretty good action scenes and the story is it's so-so for what I've seen so far. And I don't really see them fighting anybody without any type of end to it, so um, it looks like the principal is just trying to find the absolute duo is the whole premise of the anime, so um, as well as she's got some bad guys kind of coming at her students while she's doing this. So we don't really know who's the bad person, who's the good person, what they're fighting for. They're starting to begin, they're beginning to start to get, they're beginning to find somebody who they can fight against, but that just so recently showed up in the anime. And it doesn't even look like they were doing anything <laughs> until they got over there. So, um, I gotta give this anime, though I haven't seen the rest of what they're going to be coming up with, a 7.4 out of 10. Now, uh, if they do something better, I might make another review, or I might even edit this review, but uh, I think I'm going to stand firm on that, because the girls are awesome, the story is eh, and they made the main character basically a side dish, compared to everybody else inside the series. Because one girl has a gun, one girl has two swords, another girl has a giant sword hammer thing, and it's just like, whoa, why did he get so fucked? But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought of the review below and let me know what you guys thought with the review below and it was a real pleasure to do my first review tell me if there's anything you think I need to do to improve and if you liked it tell me how much you liked it and you can put a like on there and I hope I can have a lot more for you pretty soon JP out absolute duo keep doing your thing